I want to let everybody know what we're going to be covering today. Uh, I'm going to be speaking dire in direct, um, you know, portion to the forex market, if you will. And so I want to find out real quick how many forex traders do I have with me? Whether you're trading the forex live or demo, or you have an interest in forex. Can I just uh, just have you type in yes, type in me, just let me know, um, just to get an idea here. Okay, cool. We have a lot of you trading it. We have a lot of people that are interested in the Forex market. Perfect. <clears throat> awesome, Thorstein. Good stuff. So what I want to be showing you today is how Forex traders basically trade daily highs and lows for same-day returns. And before we actually get into things, uh, I have to let you know that trading does have its own form of risk involved. So you should never invest money that you can't afford to lose and always trade with equity management in mind. And there is no such thing as an undefeated season, and you may incur losses from time to time, but the key is to keep your profits high and have minimal losses. Now, with that being said, uh, I do appreciate, Reed, once again, the awesome introduction, but you know, I'm 28 years old, and uh, I, went to, you know, I went to school, uh, you know, went to school, got good grades, got a job, did all that, but I could tell you right now that I, I wanted something more out of life, and that's really what ultimately led me into taking a look at the Forex market because it provided me with a way to where I can, you know, I can pay myself what I'm worth, if you will, and it will really allow me the flexibility to kind of you know, just travel and do the things that I personally want to do and not be tied down to uh, you know, a dollar, you know, chasing a dollar bill, if you will. Now, I'm actually here on behalf of a company named uh, Market Traders Institute. All right? We abbreviate it as MTI. And we are the first and the oldest Forex training institute on the planet, and they have been in existence since April of 1994. And uh, actually, uh, it's pretty cool. Last month was actually our 21-year uh, anniversary, which is pretty awesome. Now, I want to let you know right now that we are an institute. If you notice that in our name, it's because we work side-by-side -side with our students to really ensure and help them uh, succeed along the way, coaching and mentoring, if you will. Now, I know there's a lot of different companies out there, but one thing that I want to actually make uh, light of real quick is this. Every quarter, brokers, they have to request profitability information from their traders. Well, last quarter, MTI did the same exact thing, but for all of our students, and the results are very clear. MTI Forex traders are 77% more profitable than the average trader out there, and the proof is in the numbers. And so, once again, it's a credibility thing, and I think it's very important to kind of touch on that. But I want to let you know that not only does MTI have some of the absolute best strategies, but MTI also has some of the best uh, expert Forex instructors and analysts in the Forex industry. Now, one specific instructor that I want to make note of right now, his name is Joshua Martinez. He's also known as the FX Pathfinder. Now, if you're wondering why am I actually telling you about Josh, I'll tell you why here in just a second. But let me just explain to you why he is the authority on Forex investing. He is one of MTI's product experts. He has trained thousands of Forex investors. He has turned an initial deposit investment of $500 and generated over $39,000 of profit. He's made thousands of Forex investments. He's a published author, international speaker, pro analyst, and a full-time trader. Now the question is, why am I telling you this? Because he's created a strategy that I'm going to be sharing with you today, and this strategy has really allowed him and myself to do some pretty unbelievable things. For example, back in June 5th of 2011, he opened up a trading account with just 500 US dollars. And what this gave him the ability to do was to trade with a micro position. And when he first started trading, maybe like many of you, he was only making around two to five dollars per trade and losing two to five dollars per trade, right? You know, how many of you can relate with maybe uh, you know, a yo-yo account or have you ever blown up an account, right? But when he started going through the education that Market Traders Institute offers, he started noticing that there's patterns in the market. All right, but if we fast forward you'll notice that he was able to take time compounding and build residual income. And through the course, when he was able to, he, he put more money in. All right? But he stuck with it, and it ultimately taught him how to reinvest his money, how to compound, build residual income. And of course, when he was able to, and as I mentioned, he deposited money along the way. And this is what allowed him to see daily returns of up to $4,000 to $5,000 per day in profits. And I mean, you could see there he was even withdrawing $10,000 at a time and what once took him six months working five and a half days a week to make as a personal trainer, he was now able to do in just one single day. All right? and, and he's even had days where he's made 7,000 US dollars. But let me ask you this question. How many of you would like to learn this skill? You know, type in yes for me. How many of you would like to learn a skill that would eventually, you know, not saying you're going to necessarily be able to make this starting you know, today or tomorrow, but how many of you would like to get to that point right, where you know you, know you have to start somewhere? And so once again, uh, I want to let you know that I'm a big advocate in showing track records as well, 
And if you take a look at his track record right here, which which is uh yeah uh, EJ, I completely agree with you, buddy. Uh, which this is third party verified. You'll see that he has a gain of four thousand five hundred and forty eight point eighty two percent return on his initial deposit investment. Now, if you take a look at the bottom of the graph there, you'll notice the graph of his growth. It shows that he was making money and losing money, making money and losing money, but all of a sudden things absolutely took off. And we like to call this a tipping point. And what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to show you the exact strategy that's really been able to assist Josh and myself in finding our tipping points to assist you in finding your tipping points faster. So with that being said, let me go ahead and pull up the charts. And all right, so can you all just please be so kind of type in Y for yes if you do see my charting software uh, up on your screen, nice and clear. Just want to make sure that there's no issues there. All right. Perfect. Thank you, uh, Harvey. Thank you, uh, Chris and uh, Ken, Thorstein, and uh, everybody else, Niels, and everyone else type in yes. Perfect. Now, in front of us, this is our ultimate charting software. This is the software that we do provide all of our students with here at Market Traders Institute who do decide to enroll in our Ultimate Traders Package on Demand program. Now, I know we have some experienced traders in the room. There's also some novice traders as well. But what I want you to do is I want everyone to just write these six uh, currencies down. All right, these are all pound crosses. We have the Great British Pound Canadian, the Pound Swiss Franc, the Pound US, the Pound Japanese Yen, the Pound Aussie or Pound Australian, and the Pound New Zealand. Now, these are the six currency pairs that we are going to be utilizing with this specific strategy, and all of these currency pairs are on a one-hour time frame. Now, what I want to do at this time is let me just go ahead and pull up the – let me just go with the pound Swiss. All right. Now, the first thing I want you to notice – let me just go ahead and ex expand these real quick. All right. First thing I want you to notice is how this market moves. All right. You'll notice that the market moves in waves, making highs and making lows, right? Making highs and making lows. And that's one of the neat thing of that's one of the neat things about the forex market is that you know there's really there's not many options you have right you can either only buy the market or sell the market you know compared to other markets op out there so there's not many options so understand that because you can either only buy or sell <clears throat> excuse me you have a 50 50 chance of being right or being wrong just by simply guessing which means that if you add a decent strategy to the mix right the percentages will fall highly in your favor. So what I'm going to do first is I want to draw this out for you uh, on a blank part of the uh, charts here so that it's spatially – it's going to be spatially a little bit easier for you to follow along. Now, the neat thing about the Forex market all right, is that the Forex market will provide you all right, with literally – it will provide you with the same signals. You know, Typically, the same signals usually during the same times and usually during the same areas, and that's the beauty about it is the patterns. And it does the same thing over and over and over again. And so what I want to do right now is I'm going to draw this out for you, all right, and then explain to you what I'm actually drawing out. Now, the market, okay, one of the, one of the areas that the market has provided us with is the market will provide um, a high and a low within a 24-hour period. Now, you're going to be able to see that, especially on the one-hour time frames, but I want you to know that the first higher low of the day will form – and let me go ahead and just type this out for you for those of you taking notes. So we have – I'm going to type out two high and lows. All right, so we have a high and a low down here and a high and a low up here. Now, the first higher low of the day, I want you to know that that is going to form anywhere between the hours of – let me go ahead and type this out for you once again – between 2 a.m. Eastern Time and 5 a.m. Eastern Time. Now, if you take a look at how many hours – you know, is that that's about a three hour about a three hour gap, right? Well, if we go ahead and take a look at the second higher low of the day, and when that actually forms, I want you to understand that the second higher low, the second higher low of the day will typically form between the hours of 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. So let me go ahead and type that out. We have 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. Now, how many of you agree with me that the first higher low of the day with a three hour gap will be much much easier to find? than a six-hour gap throughout the middle of the day, right? And so I want you to understand, I, mean, I could spend an hour you know, explaining why and what the banks do and you know, the European session and all that, but the reason we focus in on the first higher low of the day is because there's some you know, very fast market movement within those hours, and that's what we're doing is we're capitalizing on that, whether it's, you know, whether it's going long or whether we're shorting the market. Now, 
with that being said, just some takeaways real quick. We are going to be focusing in on the first higher low of the day, as I, as I previously mentioned. Now, with that being said, I want to go ahead and let you know, and listen, the reason that this is important is because I want you to know that the distance covered between the low and the high, or the high and the low of the day, that is known as the average daily trading range. And I'm going to simply abbreviate that as ADT, average daily trading range, and that can, that can move anywhere in a single day between 50 pips and 200 pips. Now, every, every uh, trade that we place okay, with this strategy, I want you to know that we're going to be going after a minimum of 50 pips. Okay? We could be going after more, but we will not be going after less. All right? So at a minimum, we're going after 50 pips. So now the question is, what is a pip and what is it worth to me? Well, understand that what we're trying to do in this market, our number one goal is our goal is to capture pips. Okay? And pip is an acronym which stands for price interest point. Now just understand that pips are good. All right, pips is this is what you this is what you want in the Forex market. All right. But depending on what will your return on investment be, that will be dependent upon what your actual investment is. So for example, if you just start off trading with the smallest lot size available, all right, there's three major lot sizes traded in the Forex market. The first lot size available, that is known as a micro position or a micro lot. Now, a micro lot is a $20 investment, and one pip is worth 10 cents. Now, the second lot size available to you, that is known as a mini lot. A mini lot is a $200 investment, and one pip is worth one US dollar. And then finally, the largest lot size available to you, that is known as a standard lot. And a standard lot is a $2,000 investment. And one pip is worth 10 US dollars. Now, just to kind of get an idea of who we have in the room, if you think that you're a micro lot trader, type in 20. If you think you're a mini, type in 200. And if you think you're a standard lot trader, just type in uh, 2,000. Just to kind of get a quick idea here. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Thorsine, Niels, Ken, Eric. Thank you, Henry and Paul. Uh, thank you, Shirley. And everybody else typing that in. Perfect. So what I want to what I want to let you know right out of the gate is every example that I'm going to be showing you today is going to be as if we're trading with a standard lot position because I certainly like to show and teach with the end goal in mind. Now, just to kind of give you uh, an example, you know what this equates to. Let's just say on the low end you make 50 pips per day. Okay, that's either $500 right, with a standard position, $50 with a mini position, or $5 with a micro position. All right? So what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and just you know, make sure you have all this written down. I'm going to go ahead and delete all this and move on here. But at this time, uh, okay, perfect. I see a lot of you are typing in done. Awesome. All right, so let me go ahead and clean this up. Just some takeaways. Once again, we're going to be focusing on the first higher low of the day. Going after a minimum of 50 pips, could be more, but not less. And I'm going to be showing you as if we're trading with a standard lot position, all right? So as I go ahead and clean this up and move on, the very first thing I want to do is I want to show you how this market moves. So when I tell you the first higher low will form between the hours of 2 a.m. and 5 a.m., I want to show you exactly why I'm actually telling you that. So if I go ahead and back this up real quick, let me just go ahead and zoom in a little bit so that it's a little bit easier for you to see. Does everybody see right here where I have my mouse? Does everyone see right here? Okay. Well, if you take a look at the top left-hand side of your screen, does everybody see where it says 311 and you have 3 a.m.? Does everybody see that? I just want to make sure that uh, everybody can see that nice and clear. All right, wonderful. So. With that being said, does everybody see what happens? So we have a 3 a.m. We have a 3 a.m. candle right here, right? And let me just go ahead and uh, confirm one thing. Okay, perfect. So let me just go ahead and, and shift this over. All right, now, based on this 3 a.m. candle, let me ask you a question. Does everybody see how the market created a very small directional push up towards the north within one, two, three, four hours? Does everybody see that? So in a four-hour time frame, all right, how many of you can tell me how many pips did the market move? If you take a look at the top left-hand side of your screen, you should be able to look at the third line down. 
the third row, it says range with pips and parentheses. If you see that, type in the number you see there. Does everybody see 61? Perfect. Great job, Paul. Great job, Ken, Stacy, and everybody else typing that in. So what I want you to understand is what this is telling you is that the market within one, two, three, four hours moved 61 pips or 610 US dollars. All right, and so once again, the reason I'm showing you this is to give you, be, you know, proper expectation as to what you can expect trading this type of market. And once again, here's another directional push. We have 3 a.m., and the market creates a directional push down towards the south. And I could do this all day long. And to kind of let me just let me just show you one more real quick. All right. So if I go ahead and show you here, how many of y'all see just why we focus in on the 3 a.m. candle? All right. So does does that make sense so far? Let me just get a Y for yes. If everyone's with me so far, here's another one. Here's the 3 a.m. candle right here, and same thing. The market moved. If we take a look, the market decided to move 100 pips in approximately five hours. So how many of you would be pretty excited if you were able to generate 1,000 U.S. dollars in five hours? <laughs> you wake up, place your trade, go back to bed. You wake up, and you're done, right? <laughs> now… Just what I'm going to do right now is let me go ahead. I'm going to clean all this up. Now that I kind of gave you proper expectation as to how this actually works and what we're actually doing here. And so, correct. Henry, I did mention uh, what I said about 2 a.m. is that the market moves, all right, is that the market moves, all right, between, let me see here. Correct. So the market, the first higher low will form between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. So we're going to focus in on the 3 a.m. candle. All right. I just want to make sure that everybody uh, does understand why I said what I said. So we want we want to give the market you know a little bit of room to move, you know, and basically position itself so that it allows us to go ahead and take advantage of the market the way we're going to be doing so. So what I'm going to do right now is let me just go ahead and advance the market forward. All right. And first thing I want to do is now that I showed you exactly kind of What's happening? Let me show you how this actually holds true. So first things first is let me go ahead and identify a 3 a.m. candle. So let me just find one here, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you live market. But Okay, perfect. Let me back this up real quick. All right, now, does everybody see right here? Does everybody see, and let me back this up. Does everyone see right here? Do we have a 3 a.m. candle, yes or no? Does everyone see that? So the first thing we're going to do when we identify the 3 a.m. candle is we're going to go ahead and we're going to do two things. We're going to place an entry buy, okay? And our entry buy is going to be plus 10 pips. All right, so let me just go ahead. I'm going to actually move this over so you can see it a little bit better here. All right, so once again, we're going to, all right, it's going to be plus 10 pips above our 3 a.m. high. All right, so once again, we're going to place a horizontal line at the 3 a.m. candle plus 10 pips above the high. And then we're going to place another line, and this is going to be our entry buy, or sorry, our entry sell, and our entry sell will be minus five pips below the low. Now, based on that, let me go ahead and just mark this up. So once we go ahead and identify, and by the way, I want you to know it's going to be the same thing every single time, every single morning. All right. So let's go ahead and position ourselves here. We have our 3 a.m. candle. Let's move this up 10 pips, and there we have it. We're up 10 pips. Now, let's go ahead and move this down minus 5 pips below our 3 a.m. wick low. So let's move this down 5 pips. And there we go. All right, now, does everybody see right here what I just did? All right, so we have two horizontal lines. Now, what I need you to understand is that we are not actually in the market buying or selling yet. These are nothing more all right, than pending orders. Okay, that's all they are. And what we're waiting for is we're waiting for the market to cross into either my entry buy zone or my entry sell zone, and that will tell us if we're gonna if we're gonna basically buy the market or if we're gonna sell the market. So let me just go ahead and put a yellow or sorry an orange arrow right there, just to signify our 3M candle. And so once again, we set this up. We're now living our life. Now, does everybody see what happened? All right, did the market cross into my entry sell? Yes or no? Does everyone see what happened? Now understand. When the new candle forms, all right, it's not going to be this big. It's going to form as a little line, something like this, okay, and it's going to basically fluctuate moving up and moving down. So the moment it crosses into my entry cell, 
that's going to tell me that I'm now going to short the market. So first things first is we're going to delete, we're going to delete our opposite order, and I'm going to set up my stop. Now, understand that if we are if we're shorting the market, my stop is going. I'm going to I'm going to change this to red. My stop is going to go plus five pips above the 3 a.m. wick high. So let's move this up five pips. And there's now there's my stop. All right. Now. The question is, if that's my stop, what is my limit? Well, let me ask you this. How many of you can tell me how many pips am I risking on this one trade? Who can tell me how many pips am I risking on this one trade? Perfect. Paul, great job. Steven, Neville, Vito, George, everyone that's typing in 80, you're absolutely correct. So if we're risking 80 pips, we're going to be going after 80 pips. All right, so let me move this down 80 pips, and now I'm going to go ahead and mark this. And if it's down 80 pips, that's at the four. That's at 1.42023. So 42043. Now, once we go ahead and set this up, all right, let me go ahead and show you something. Is every would everybody be pretty happy if you were able to generate or you had a target? of plus 80 pips okay because remember at a standard lot that would be that would equate to roughly 800 us dollars so what we're going to do now is once we have this all set up all right we're now going to literally go back to bed we have our stop set up we have our limit set up we're now going to go back to living our life doing our thing and let me ask you a question did the market fulfill our target yes or no did the market fulfill our target absolutely right and so what I want you to think about and understand is that at 3 a.m., we woke up, we focused on our trade, we set ourselves up within the following – within basically uh, within the following hour, right? And we went back to bed, and then we wake up two hours later, and now we're up 80 pips. So let me ask you a question. How many of you would be pretty excited if you were able to generate 80 pips or 800 U.S. dollars profit in – two hours let me get a type in Y for yes or type in the word me if you find value in the fact that you literally were able to do that right and so that's one thing I want you to think about is literally setting yourself up for this kind of success because what I want you to know is that the market is not this gigantic beast of a market right okay it's very under it's very easy to read especially when you understand patterns and the one thing about the club that we actually I'll talk about today is that we talk, we you know we discuss multiple strategies right however what i want you to think about and what i want you to know hey paul nobody that's not sarcasm i i definitely understand where you're coming from and i'll actually bring that up here in just in just a, in just a little bit all right bud but take a look at this what are we going to do now we're now going to simply wait for the following opportunity to get into a trade. Now, for everybody out there that was that was telling me you're interested in forex, you like forex, you're a forex trader. How many of you can honestly say that you know what would that make a difference in your everyday life? And so, once what we're going to do now is I'm simply going to wait for the following day. All right, we're going to wait for the following opportunity to get into the market. And so, what I'm going to do now is let me go ahead and uh, I believe we got into a weekend here. Okay, perfect. So what we have now is we've now identified the following 3 a.m. candle. So once the first trade is complete, what am I going to do now? Let me move this to right here. This is now my 3 a.m. candle. All right, we're going to delete. Actually, let me go ahead and keep this there because we're going to use that. I'm going to delete my stop, no longer relevant, and delete that as well. Now, based on what I taught you, how many of you can tell me what is the very first thing that we're going to do? How many of you can tell me? Exactly. There you go. Great job, Susan. So we're going to place our entry buy and our entry sell. Now our entry sell will be minus five pips below the 3 a.m. wick low. Let's move this down five pips to right there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and place our entry buy. And my entry buy will be, once again, it's never going to change, plus 10 pips above my 3 a.m. wick high. Now. Based on this, all right, once we go ahead and have this set up, we're going to position this. So for the 42029, let's move this up 10 pips to right, right there. Now, once again, 
These are pending orders. So we're living our life, doing our thing, and let me ask you a question. Does the market cross our entry buy or our entry sell? Yes, Donna, it is, uh, it is Eastern Standard Time, correct. Now, once the market crosses into okay, my sell zone, and now it's going to basically signify that I'm going to be shorting the market, what am I going to do next? I am now going to go ahead and I'm going to delete my opposite order, right? So we're going to delete our opposite order. We're now going to set up our stop. Now remember, when we place our stop, our stop is going to go plus five pips above the 3 a.m. wake high. So let's move this up five pips. Right there. Now, once we have that set up, all right, my question to you now is, what's the next step? Okay, we're now going to take our entry sell. It was a pending order. It's now an actual market sell. All right, so we're now actually shorting the market. So what I want you to know is that once we identify the direction we're going to be trading in, that entry sell or entry buy would now turn into a market sell or a market buy. So if my risk, if my risk is 43 pips, Okay, how many pips, exactly, great job, Niels. How many pips am I going to be going after? So if my risk is 42, bingo, great job, Paul. We're going after 50, right? So understand that if my risk, all right, if my risk is less than 50, I'm going after 50 minimum. But if it's greater than 50, I'm going to go after whatever the risk is. So 50 pips will bring me to 1.41145. So 41145, let's go ahead and plot that there. Right there, okay? So remember, our target is now plus 50 pips away. So once we go ahead and have all this set up, we're going to literally go back to living our life, doing our thing, and let me ask you a question. Does the market fulfill our target, yes or no? Absolutely, right? So let me ask you this. How many of you are starting to catch on to what I'm showing you? How many of you like what I'm showing you? All right. Uh, hey, Paul, the 3 a.m. candle, we're waiting for the 3 a.m. candle to close, buddy. All right, but how many of you like what I'm showing you? How many of you believe, my gosh, literally, here's the 3 a.m. candle, okay, cross into our entry cell, so we haven't, we're now shorting the market, one, two, three, four hours into the trade, we fulfill our target, so we're up 50 pips, or 500, or 500 U.S. dollars profit in four hours. How many of you would be pretty excited if you were able to generate that type of profit within that type of time frame? And so if we go ahead and bring this together, here's what I want you to think about. Based on those two trades alone, okay, which were two mornings back to back, that is going to bring you right, to about 1300 US dollars. Now, how many of you see yourself doing that? Let me just get a yes or a me. How many of you are like what I'm showing you? Makes sense. And how many of you actually see yourself doing this, and this is a strategy that you see yourself actually uh, getting into? Because once again, this is just one strategy of many that we actually teach in our, uh, in our exclusive club that I'll be talking about here in just a little bit. But what I want to do right now is I want to actually show you live market. Okay? I, I actually love live market, and I wish we had more time you know, to, go through, uh, to go through a bunch of different examples. But let me go ahead and just check the time. Uh, let's see here. Okay, perfect. So what I'm going to do – Everyone is, I want to just go ahead, I'm going to keep this pretty uh, simple because uh, I have to just kind of make sure that I'm, you know, keeping an eye uh, on the time there. But let me go ahead and, and what would y'all like to see? Just throw, out a, just throw out a currency pair that y'all would like to see. Okay, pound US. Uh, here we go. So let's, let's go ahead and open up the pound US. Now, as I open up the pound US, I'm, I am going to show you live market. Let me go ahead and zoom in there. Now. Let's go ahead and identify a 3 a.m. candle. So once again, now what I'm going to do for the sake of time is I'm not going to actually type everything out, all right? But is everybody okay if I don't type it out? I'm just going to go ahead and draw this up. So once again, here's our 3 a.m. candle. This was this morning, okay? So 3 a.m., let's go ahead and draw our entry buy. Our entry buy will be plus 10 pips above, and that's going to be right, right there. Okay, once again, our entry sell is going to be minus five pips below. Let's bring it down five pips. Right there, all right? 
Now, let's advance the market forward, and let's see what happens. All right, so the market this morning, the market crossed into my – right here, right? The market crossed into my entry cell. So remember, what are we going to do? We're going to go ahead. We're going to delete our opposite order. We're going to place our stop, which my stop will be plus five pips above the 3 a.m. wick high. Let's bring this up five pips right there. All right, let's just go ahead. I'm going to change this to red so that it's uh, spatially a little bit easier to uh, understand what I'm doing here. Now, how many of you can tell me how many pips am I risking on this trade? So I'm risking 43 pips. So if I'm risking 43 pips, how many pips should I be going after based on what you know so far? Bingo. Great job, Chris. Great job, Paul and Mike. Great job, Vito, Irwin, Billy, Susan, and everybody else typing that in. So we're going after 50 pips. So let me go ahead and drop this 50 pips down, and that's going to bring us to 53386. So 53386, and once we have that set up right there, that's it. We have our stop in place. We have our limit in place, and we are now living our life, doing our thing. And let me ask you a question. This morning, did the market fulfill its target, yes or no? So this morning, we're up 50 pips. US dollars profit in three hours. Now, how many of you would be pretty excited if this morning you went back to bed, you woke up, and you were out? Uh, Stacy, this does work uh, for, the, for the pound crosses. This is what I focus on for the pound crosses. Now, for the sake of time, everyone, I do have to actually keep moving here, but let me just ask you this as I go ahead and move on. How many of you find value in what I showed you, and how many of you believe that this is a strategy that would literally allow you to really have an awesome kickstart to your Forex trading career? You know, how many of you believe that this is something that would honestly bring value um, to you? You know, because I, once again, I thought that the market was very difficult to read. It was very complicated, but this morning alone, you're at 500. I didn't even go through the rest to show you, but based on that, you know, we showed you, uh, I showed you approximately, you know, about 2,000 U.S. dollars, right? or sorry, 1,800 US dollars. So with that being said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move on. Uh, I have about, I believe about 10 minutes left. And so as I go ahead and move on, here's what I want you to understand. All right? If you're anything like me, results matter. All right? But if all this allowed you to do all right, was to literally generate some incredible profit, was a, if all it did was allow you to learn some incredible strategies, more than just the one I taught you, would it be worth learning and kind of, uh, you know, taking a deep dive into seeing what it could be like for you, especially even if you're a demo trader. So this is Thomas S. He says, I made $4,500 in my first week. And then we have Anthony S. from Trinidad and Tobago, and he says, I would say about a month after, I started to see a return on my investment. An average month of trading, I'm making 3000 plus pips. Okay? Now, if, we, if I, sh I want to show you another one here. This is Peter Cook. He says, I did Josh's Pound Australian, what we just did, and it took me to the limit, just as Josh said. I did not move my stop or fiddle with the plan. I just bought, set my stop in limit, and left it alone as the analysis was spot on, good for 80 pips. And then finally here we have Travis Nanowski. He says, still long on the pound Canadian, up almost 700 pips. Learned a long time ago, never take profits too soon, or 7,000 US dollars. But how many of you would like to you know, have this kind of success? And like I said, even if it wasn't tomorrow, how many of you would like to eventually get to that point? And so what I'd like for you to do is this. Type in a yes if you found this easy to follow, and if you thought it was easy to obey, and if you thought it was easy to execute. You know, imagine if having an income of three to $5,000 a month, especially just to start with. You know, here are the stats from a day similar to this where we actually generated 964 pips and took our profit just 11 days later. You see, when we host these sessions, folks, we look to generate income. And on this particular day, we made $9,861 in just 11 days. All right, and the reason is is because you're literally going to be able to trade live with two professional forex traders and analysts, Joshua Martinez, and the other is Christopher Pulver. Okay, he is one of our lead analysts. He's a private money manager, he's made thousands of forex investments, international speaker, pro analyst, and uh, bottom line is he knows how to get results trading the forex market. And so I know some of you are asking me how do you get your hands on this and what's the club all about, but I'm going to get into that right after this. But take a look at Samson Sweeting. He says, "Here are my trades from today." Thanks, MTI, and he made 328 pips or 
$3,280 US dollars in just one day. And then Bobby Scott says, thanks to MTI and Chris Pulver for helping me and so many others to become successful traders. Here's my reward to myself for having my first 1,500 pip week. Okay, that's a $15,000 week. And then he thanks his wife for uh, believing in him. So here it is, folks. What we're going to be doing, here's what I'm going to tell you. In just a second, I'm going to get into the details of the program. I'm going to show you exactly what you get with the club, what it entails. However, before I get into that, I know a lot of you um, are asking me how to take advantage of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually let you know that the, typically the cost of this exclusive club every month is $297. US However, okay, I'm going to do something right now that we typically don't always do, but normally you would be paying $297. However, for those of you that get started today, we're going to allow you to get involved for your first 30 days, folks, for just $27. US That's it. And all you have to do is click the link that uh, I'm going to go ahead and send out to each and every one of you. And uh, I know Reed will probably send it out as well. But, okay, there you go. Reed just sent it. I just sent it as well. But all you have to do is click that, and it will show you everything you're going to get with the club. Now, every month thereafter, it's just $147, not $297, okay? But you're not committing to 12 months, 6 months, none of that. It's a month-by-month -month basis. So I say take it for your first 30 days, folks. You're going to find the value in it. And, for, and once again, I'm going to get into the details of it, but if you click the link, it'll show you exactly what you're going to get with that, um, with that actual, with the club, okay, on a monthly basis. Now, once again, all you have to do is click the link, and all right, hey, Marwan, uh, what I want you to do is try a different web browser, all right? But let me ask you this real quick. If, if you're clicking the link, can you all please be so kind of click the link? Let me know. Do you see where it says, uh, $27. Is it showing up with the $27 promotion? Can you all just please be so kind of click the link and let me know? Is it showing up as, uh, as such? I just want to make sure that there's no problems. Okay, perfect. Uh, thank you, Stacy, Ronaldo, Stan, Julian. Thank you, uh, Lucien, and everybody else typing that in. Okay, cool. Perfect. So, hey, uh, Brown, once again, if your link isn't working, what I want you to do and uh, try a different web browser. You know, try uh, you know, uh, Google Chrome or Firefox or Safari. Uh, now, what I want you to also know is that you have a 30-day money-back satisfaction guarantee. So look, if for whatever reason you're unsatisfied okay, with this, all right, no problem. Let us know, email us, call us within the first 30 days, and we will literally refund your 27 US dollars. You know? But how many of you find value in the fact that with $27 for your first 30 days, okay, uh, thank you, Marwan. He says the link works with Firefox. Awesome. Thank you. You're going to get eight live market online forex sessions per month with Christopher Pulver and Joshua Martinez. Now, in these bi-monthly live market online sessions, you are going to learn directly from our analysts about how you could potentially mimic their forex success. Okay, you're going to be able to understand, learn how pass through your repeats future profit potential. Okay, discover uh, you know, return to sell your trade account. And once again, I, I showed you the London breakout strategy. It's actually just in the morning throughout the afternoon as well. But if you're interested in trading sleep, we cover that, folks. Eight live market sessions in, in the game, right? You're also going to get one Forex market preview video each week. So you are going to gain exclusive access to the market analysis that Josh and Chris do on a weekly basis and right, the possible scenarios that they're going to be looking to take advantage of when the opportunities do present themselves. And it's, all gonna, it's also going to include an email reminder each week containing the Forex market preview video where they will be sharing the currency pairs that they're looking to take advantage of for that particular week. Now, you're also going to have recorded replays plus ongoing access to, professional, uh, to the professional traders. And here's why I tell you this. If for whatever reason you're unable to access or you're unable to attend, not access, but attend, maybe you're working, you sleep in, doesn't matter, understand that they will be recorded for you to have available to you so you can literally have them archived in your back pocket, ready for you whenever you want them. Now, you're also going to get four special bonus gifts just for getting started today. Bonus one is 30 days free of Market Traders Institute's VIP Analyst on Demand service. So folks, every, for the whole month, you can literally access this, and every day you have our analysts that tell you exactly what currency pairs you want to look at for the day, where to get in, where to get out, and how many pips you can expect to make that day. Now, you're also going to go ahead, and if you want to place a trade, but you want a professional to analyze it with you, you'll have the ability to have them literally sit there and analyze it with you and tell you their thoughts on it. 
Bonus number two is an introduction to currency trading, so you're going to get four Forex lessons by MTI. Bonus number three is a profit plan consultation call. Same one that Josh had, same one that I had. And bonus four is you're going to get 10 keys to successful Forex trading ebook by Jared Martinez. As I mentioned, folks, you have a 30-day money-back satisfaction guarantee. Take a look at Jason Stewart. He says 352 pips in seven days. That's over $3,000 US dollars, folks, in just one week. He says, not too bad. And then you have FX Cat. He says, I've struggled for several months, but my rep got me focused, and I've made 575 pips in just in two weeks. That's, that's over $5,000 US dollars, folks, in half a month. How many of you see yourself having that kind of success one day? And then finally, FXMPX is 144 pips in the last 24 hours, 96 pips this morning alone, $960 in just one morning. Can't say anything else, but thank you, thank you, thank you.